I'm here today with Kathy Beck, who's the uh, co-founder of BIF. The you and your sister Robin have been doing BIF for... We're going into our 19th year this year. 19th year. I can't year. believe it. 19 years. Yeah, sometimes it feels like, you know, three years and sometimes it feels like 30. Right, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. And it's, so, um, and then what, what's the date of the festival this year? The festival this year is March 2nd through the 5th. And um, that's a Thursday, and it's coming up in a few short weeks, so we've got lots going on. Uh, we have um, all kinds of events. Um, it starts with our big foodie event, which is always fun, we, where we have chefs that cook dishes based on movie themes that they love um, from just their history of watching film, and then people vote on it. It's a competition, so that's a lot of fun. It's called Cine Chef. Okay. That starts on Thursday night, and then we go from there with all kinds of activities and parties and movies of course is what it's all about so yeah it's quite the festival atmosphere you've got the red carpets yes you got bands you have everything it's, it's yes it's quite a big deal quite fun to be a part of it is fun yeah thanks yeah. john yeah. it is a lot of fun yeah and so um now biff is also showing films here in longmont yes that's so and you did more <clears throat> collins for a while but you're not doing that but you have have the Longmont program that's going to be this year, and uh, where, where, we where do. are the venues here in town? Well, we use the Stewart Auditorium at the museum, and it is lovely. It's it's really kind of state of the art. It's really comfortable. We just love that venue, and so do people who come uh, watch films there as well. They of course have year-round activities going on there and some really cool stuff. Um, but we come in during the festival on the third fourth and fifth, which is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of that weekend, and we bring a slate of wonderful films, their, their features, their documentaries, their shorts programs, and um, we kind of pick what we think is the cream of the crop, and um, it's really, really great programming, so we love it. I think we're going into our sixth or seventh year here okay. <coughs> in Longmont, and it is, um, <coughs> excuse me, one of our favorite places to screen films. So. Okay. And so, and if somebody wanted to find out what the films are when they're showing, um, yes. there'll be programs around town here in Boulder. Yes. Um, and then also the, and we'll put the website right up on the screen. So yes. what's the, what's the yes, website? Yes, it's biff1.com. Biff1.com. And uh, you just go there and you can view our entire program, but you can go to the Longmont pages uh, on the website, or when you get the program, it's page 46 and 47, um, where we cover the Longmont film specifically. And so you can find it either on the website or in the program. Okay. Probably in our app as well. We have an app um, as well. So download our app and uh, you can see it there too. Oh, great, great. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. <laughs> um, and you got, you got teens involved and you got adventure films and we do yeah we do and we have a whole adventure film pavilion i'm glad you asked that because it's one of my favorite things at the festival it's something we started just a few short years ago uh you know there used to be a, an adventure film festival in boulder for many many years mm -hmm. i think they started when we did so it's been they were there for a long time but they went away three or four years ago and we just saw this opportunity to show some of the great movies that are out there that really focus on adventure and this area of course being in Colorado and being along the Front Range here uh, is just such an adventurous um, community and so we are showing films from all different kinds of genres whether it's um, you know mountain climbing or it's um, highlining um, which is slack lining really mm -hmm. high um, we've got um, kayaking you know really wild river kayaking we've got um, we've got BMX biking this year wow. a fabulous movie and not something that I thought I would be that interested in but it's amazing how um, a wonderful fabulous well-made film can get you interested yeah. and excited about a topic and very that tiny is bike. it's a very tiny <laughs> bike it is but it's a fascinating story and this is really um, a wonderful love story between two people and um, and this BMX 
um, racing, but just all kind. We hit all kinds of with surfing. I mean, all kinds of genres, and we are bringing a few of those adventure films to Longmont as well, and we're excited about that. We're going to bring uh, the Yin and Yang of Jerry Lopez, which is he was uh, huge in the surfing community, starting back in the 70s, and uh, just a really big surfer. Uh, and that's a wonderful film. Um, and that's another funny thing. I don't surf, of course. A lot of us don't because we're here kind of in landlocked Colorado, but fascinating story and interesting character he was and is. Uh -huh. um, and we're going to bring that here. And then we've got uh, one of our adventure shorts programs we're bringing here as well. And I really like those programs because there's just something for everybody in that, you know, shorts program. Whether it, we, there might be a film on backpacking, there might be a film on um, rock climbing. There, there, we have some animal films this year, which mm -hmm. I love too. So there's a wonderful short um, about uh, walruses and. You know, that's always fun, too. So we like to bring a little bit of that adventure flavor out here to Longmont as well. Oh, nice. Very great. Mm -hmm. So, so we, and we were talking before, before the interview started here, and you were saying that you and Robin got your start um, with a situation just like Longmont Media, just checking equipment out yes. in, in Boulder. And, yes. Uh, yeah, well, I was admiring the wonderful space you have here for yeah. community media, and it is fabulous. And uh, there used to be a place like that in Boulder, and it was community, you know, Boulder Community Media, I think it was called, something like that. Um, and uh, they used to check out equipment to filmmakers mm -hmm. and potential filmmakers and people interested in, um, you know, just using that equipment or using the studio space and that kind of thing. So uh, Robin and I were making films and um, mainly short docs and that kind of thing. Um, and, you know, we needed, we needed equipment. We didn't have right. equipment, so we went there and checked it out and started making films. And then we ended up, you know, going to some really cool film festivals like Banff and and Telluride Mountain Film. And um, Robin started winning awards at some of those places. And that's kind of where we got the foundation to to say, you know what? Why isn't there a film festival in Boulder? Right. Um, we always said somebody will start that sometime. Mm -hmm. And you know, then finally nobody did, and we said, then let's do it, and so we did. Yeah. yeah, but it got its start from a wonderful place like this. Uh huh. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the first I ever heard of you <clears throat> was the frozen dead guy up in <laughs> Netherlands. That because uh, I was yeah. living up there when this whole thing was going down, and it was just this media, you know, just yes. just extravaganza. Yeah. Satellite trucks, Japan, everyone was there. You know, trying to find out about this frozen dead guy, and you guys did a film. And is it Grandpa's in the Tough Shed? Yes, yes. Okay. Grandpa's in the Tough Shed. We made, and then we made it a little longer into Grandpa's still in the Tough Shed, and that was funny. What a fascinating story. I mean, great film is all about great storytelling. Yeah. that's what it is. Mm -hmm. You can have very high production value. You can have great acting. Um, if it's a doc, of course, there's not acting, but you can have great subjects. But if there isn't a great story to tell, you really don't have much at the end of the day. But that's a great story. So that's yeah. where we kind of, that's where we learned our, you know, how important great storytelling is. And that's still the basis of the films we select at BIF today is yeah. they have to have great stories. Right. And I think that's what a lot of people miss. They think, I mean, I, I think a lot of people think, hey, I want to go make a film. Just, I gotta have You're the right. best lights, the best cameras, the best lenses. Right. Yeah. And I think that a viewer is a lot more forgiving on the technical side if the story is compelling. You are right. So because that was our experience, we didn't uh -huh. have equipment. We didn't. I mean, our first film, we didn't even have a tripod, uh -huh. and so we always joked that we were the first ones to do the shaky oh, Blair Witch Project camera. You I know? thought that was just done in post. <laughs> <laughs> No, we, we, we started that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but you no, know, but we were forgiven for the, the, the quality because the story was the fabulous. Story so and, and Grandpa's in the Tef Shed was the, one of the prime examples yeah. of that. Yeah. A story that is just, just too good to pass up, even if the production up. value is not that great. And now it's in Estes Park. Yeah. <laughs> they did, didn't Next see year that. it'll be in Jackson Hole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you have to move grandpa with it every time. Oh, but, yeah. but can you imagine? Oh, selling my gosh. the rights. I can't yeah. even imagine. Yeah, yeah, great story, though. Right. Yeah. So, 
Well, cool. So um, thank you so much for coming in and you know, just encouraging everybody to check out um, the Boulder International Film Festival and with the Boulder International Film Festival, the program that you're setting up here in Longmont. And it's a, you know, it'd be just great entertainment, a fun environment, you know, just go out and, you know, have a good time at the movies. Exactly. And there's even, we even do a party here at the museum on opening night, which is Friday. Oh, that's okay. a lot of fun. So we, you know, we try to give it that party flavor. There's lots of parties, of course, in Boulder, but we do one here as well. And there's lots of fun, you know, things to do in uh, the festival itself um, that, you know, come to the Longmont screenings. We absolutely encourage that. But there's a lot of fun stuff going on in Boulder, too. And a lot of that is um, whether it's our youth programs. We have some free programs for students. We have um, our call to action program where we do discussions after the films. Uh, and we also have, um, as I mentioned, a lot of wonderful parties, great music. We have a singer-songwriter showcase that's free for anybody to come and see some wonderfully talented um, musicians from the area. So really a, something for everyone. Mm -hmm. The films, of course, are the, the best part of all of it. And our films this year are fantastic. And we have a lot of really compelling stories, um, uh, whether documentaries or feature films. And uh, a couple, maybe I'll just talk about a couple of them oh, that sure, are coming sure. here. I mean, one um, feature film that's coming here is called The Thief Collector. And mm. it's a fascinating story about um, a art theft from the University of Arizona Art Museum. And it was a Willem de Kooning painting, which mm -hmm. was extremely valuable. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, they'd never figured out, somebody, somebody came in and took the painting. And they never figured it out until like 30 years later, um, they found it in someone's bedroom behind the door, um, a pair of school teachers in Arizona. Really interesting story though. So that's one great example. Teachers are the worst. Teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know the lesson here. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. Yeah. But, um, you know, unassuming people that, how did they pull this off? Yeah, it's yeah. a great story and it's well mm -hmm. told. And then we also have um, <clears throat> a film about Richard Williams, um, Serena and Venus Williams' dad, and it's a documentary. And, you know, you think you know that whole story, but mm -hmm. you end up watching the documentary and it's fascinating. You learn so many new things and, and they kind of go through their whole career and how they got you know, where they, where they got at the end of the day, which is always a wonderful story. So that's another good one. We've got two shorts programs coming um, from our regular shorts, and those are always fun. The thing I really love about shorts is that, you know, it's a lot of stories. So you've right. got not just one big, wonderful story, but you've got five or six. Mm -hmm. And so if you're not so hot on one of them, just wait a few minutes. There's another story coming. Yeah. Um, but you will love all of these stories because they're all fascinating. And again, you know, the most important thing is telling that story. And even in short films, even if a film is five minutes, you can tell mm -hmm. a great story. You don't need 90 minutes. You can do it in five sometimes. And it's fun to watch um, as each film comes up you know, how long it is and how they tell that story in that, in that time frame. And so those are always fun. They're very popular. Um, they're already selling. And we're also bringing, as I mentioned, that one, um, the adventure shorts mm -hmm. here. So we've got three shorts programs. So for those short, shorts lovers, we have lots to offer there as right. well. So just, just a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, great. And <clears throat> been putting in a lot of time getting this all ready to go. And you got about a month. It's in, uh, we'll be here. I wish we had a month. Less than a month. <laughs> exactly. So it's Crossing like, those days. Seems off like two and a half weeks time. or so by this yeah. time. So oh, it's, right, um, right. it's coming kind of fast and furious. And we'll, we'll be at opening night before we know it. And um, got a lot of good music films. Speaking of opening night, we have um, a wonderful film on opening night. So I think there's some tickets left. They are going fast. But um, that's a fun night. And, and then our closing night film is a lot of fun this year, too. And that's a film called Still Working 9 to 5. And it's about the making of the movie 9 to 5, um, which is hysterical, oh, of course. Uh, as you remember, if you saw that yeah, film back in yeah. 1980, um, it's kind of a, you know, they talk to the gals from the film, um, Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda and Dolly Parton, and they 
talk about how it was to make the film, but it was all, it's also about the culture of that time. Mm -hmm. And um, we have another film similar to that that we're bringing to Longmont about the making of Midnight Cowboy and the culture at that oh, time. Yeah, yeah. It's called Desperate Souls, mm -hmm. Dark City, and the making of Midnight Cowboy. And that is um, really great if you, it really, a good film also just transports you back to a place in time in, you know, really well. They do a good job on that in that movie. And it's just about that interesting culture at the time and why, why that film came out and how, why it was cutting edge for the time and that kind of thing. So you can check that out right here yeah. in Longmont. And a, a great opportunity to see these films that you just don't normally get to see. Right. It's not just a right. Marvel comic. No. It's not just another Batman <laughs> or something. It's, it's, uh, it's something that, that you're like, well, I'll take a chance on this. I'm going to go and I'm going to see this. And I think, I mean, you bring up a good point. I, like, I, I have a distinct feeling when I walk out of a really good movie. The air has changed. The light has changed. I feel different. I, you know, people talk excellent. about being reset, like mm -hmm. going to the mountains, I'm going to reset. I think films can reset you. That's such a great observation, yep. John. You're exactly right. Mm -hmm. It makes you feel differently. Mm -hmm. It makes you think differently. Right. And it stays with you. A mm -hmm. good film, a great film, will stay with you for days and days. That's always the mark of a good film mm -hmm. for me as well. And it changes you because you see your perspective can change uh, based on what you learned and what you saw on the screen. So that's that's excellent. That's an excellent description of what yeah. great film does. And yeah. I think this is one of our best programs that we've ever had, to be honest. It is fantastic. And all the films are just great stories and um, will help change perspectives. Uh, um, and they'll stick with you for days. So we're really excited. Great. Terrific. We're really looking forward to BIP this year. Well, thank you so much. And yeah, thanks so much for coming in. And we will, um, all the information uh, will be on this interview, how people get tickets, how, Great. Um, Great. and uh, Just go how to they can come right out here to Longmont and party Absolutely. and watch some movies. Absolutely. Get your tickets at the Longmont um, Museum there at the Stewart Auditorium or go to biff1.com. Okay. Either one. Great. Great. Okay. Thank Thanks you, John. Very much. Really okay. appreciate it. Thank you.